G2P Angler coming to you from uh, Pompano Beach, Hillsboro Inlet. On the boat today, I've got my good friend Brett. Hey, how's it going? His friend Christy. Hey. Uh, Brett here was the first person that I ever went out kite fishing with. He got me hooked. So we're going to go out and do a little trolling and kite fishing today in the spread. The deeper planer, we're going to do a uh, black and blue sea witch. We're going to do a, uh, a pink tuna taco on the outrigger. Blue and white tuna taco on the shotgun. And uh, pink sea witch and squid on the uh, shallower planer. And if we don't get hooked up, we'll probably switch to the, uh, the DTX minnow. And for a couple of hours, Got some live gogs, and give it hell out there doing a little bit of kite fishing. deploy the kite guys when you're deploying these kites when you first put them together make sure that you line up these uh, little these little gold notches all together all, all four of them these little spots got to come together at the center before deploying it all right we're deploying the kite putting the bow into the wind Alright, 9.43, morning troll was rough and not productive, so we switched to get the, get the kite up. We got three, three goggle eyes in the water. Got the team running the spread here. This is uh, Christy's first time doing this, already killing it. Trying to keep all these baits in the water and I'll Higher wind day with short one was moving a little bit. We're hoping it's getting nervous, but something's coming for it. Looks like the shark just got bit. Thing about kite fishing is one one comes off the cliff and there's still two more two more in the water to keep an eye on. One eye. 
on, good job, Christy. First fish of the day. Got it, in the fish box. Like the short just caught hit. We had two cutoffs earlier in around 200, probably a wahoo hitting two baits. So far it's been pretty slow on the, the kite fish if we caught that one mahi earlier. We had what seemed like a wahoo go and go and cut off two, two right in a row, look like um, just straight through. Then uh, put a put a line out here down about 60 to 80 feet. That one's been hit it also cut off twice, so seems like toothy fish hitting and we're fishing with uh, fishing with, with mono, so we, we've lost a few a few cutoffs. The, uh, Wrapping it up here soon, We're heading back in before lunchtime. One last view out of the spread. Kite way up there. Three lines, three lines down in. Hey guys, heading back in. And uh, we only wound up catching one mahi today. We, we went out in four to six foot seas with a very short interval to start. It was rough, we got beaten up, but we thought we were gonna go out there and crush it this morning. When we left the end, but I was like, we're gonna get That's beaten up, but we're gonna, we're gonna destroy it today. So, uh, not much on the troll, but we had to kind of pick and choose our uh, trolling path and um, we put the kite up and uh, we only actually got one bite on the kite that we caught. We got two bites where they were they were cut off on the mono, so maybe we should have gone with some wire after that. We dropped one down deeper while we were drifting, and uh, two of those were also also cut off. So either one through a kingfish probably. And uh, now we're heading back in. Not not a, not a bad day. I want to say uh, my friend Brett here really helped get me hooked on kite fishing last year. We went out, caught a couple sails, had a lot of success, and it's been it's been fun. He also owns uh, Bennett Marine Services. So if you uh, if you're in the industry, you need uh, any uh, boat air conditioning or um, boat parts or refrigeration, he's your, he's your guy. Hit me up in the comments, I'll hook you up. And uh, if you want to see some recaps of last year's kite fishing highlights, check out my 2022 highlights reel. I just posted that up a couple days ago. And thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you next time.